which libraries or framework to use when doing JavaScript API automation testing. We'll be answering that in this video. Hey there, welcome to Automation Bro. In this quick video, we will go over different frameworks, libraries, and tools we'll be using to do API automation testing with JavaScript. So since we are doing API testing, the first thing we'll need to do is some way to make HTTP calls programmatically. And for that, we will be using SuperTest NPM package. So let's take a look at that package. SuperTest is built on top of SuperAgent, which basically allows you to make HTTP requests. And then SuperTest provides a high level abstraction for testing those HTTP requests. Let's take a look at an example. If I scroll down, here you will notice that they are creating an express route. So they are first making the GET request to that route, and then they are validating the data that's being returned. For example, in this case, it's the, they are verifying the content type as well as the status code. So as you can see, it's pretty easy to use and it allows you to add assertion by just chaining this expect commands. So we can continue writing tests this way, but we need a better way to be able to group test or run individual test. So for that, we will be using the Mocha test framework. Well, Mocha.js, if you're not familiar, is a really popular JavaScript test framework that runs on Node.js. And you get a lot of features pre-built with Mocha test framework, such as you can group your test, or you can skip your test. You can also use hooks to set up or tear down your test. And it also comes with reporting as well as retry support functionalities along with many other features. So let's take a look at a Mocha test example. So I'm here on the Mocha site. Now let's take a look at how a Mocha test example would look. So I'm going to scroll down. All right. So they have a describe block here, if you notice, which basically allow you to group your test. And you can also have multiple describe blocks inside each other. And then they also have the it block here, which is basically your test case. So here, for example, they're verifying that it should return minus one when the value is not present. And then they're adding the assertion as well as the next step as needed. So that's your basic mocker test example. Now let's take a look at how mocker test would integrate with super test. So I'm going to switch back here. And if I scroll down, so here's an example with mocker. So what they're doing is using the same describe block, to group the test and then using the id block to actually make the HTTP request. And they're using the expect block for the assertion. So that's how Mocha would work with super test library. All right, so we saw a session here. So the next library we'll look at is basically our assertion library. So let's take a look at that. So for our assertions, we will be using chai.js. Now chai is a session library for node and browser, which can be paired with any testing framework. So in our case, Mocha.js. So let's take a look at a chai.js example. So I'm here on the chai.js site. Now to write assertion, chai provides multiple interfaces, which is basically different ways for you to write your assertion. So they have should, expect, and assert. So whichever style you're comfortable with using, you can use that in your test. Now, for example, for should, you're gonna use it food.should equal bar, or for expect, you're gonna use it expect food.to equal bar. So it's just a way for you to write your test. And whichever one you prefer, you can use that in your test. So it's pretty straightforward to use. Now let's see how it will work with Mocha. So I'm gonna head over to Mocha site and just do a quick search for Chai. Okay, so over here, let's see if I'm gonna, let me search more. Okay, so if you notice here, they're using Chai as their assertion. So they're using the assert library. So within the Chai, they're using assert, uh, which we saw just now. And then in their test, so they're using the test and then they're using assert dot equal, basically their actual assertion. So same way, whichever one you prefer, you can use either assert or should or expect. Now, once we have added assertion, we can start writing tests with no issues. However, we still need some way to see a report of all the tests we are running and see the pass and fail status of each. So the good thing is Mocha comes with pre-built reporters, which we can use. So let's look at them. So I'm going to search for reporter here. Okay. So by default, it comes with this spec reporter, which gives this nice, simple terminal result view. And while this is sufficient enough when we are getting started, but later on we'll implement nice HTML report. So let's take a look at that. So we're going to be implementing Mocha awesome reporting tool. So what I'm going to do is jump to Mocha awesome NPM package, and then we'll read more about that over there. So Mocha Awesome works really well with Mocha reports. It has nice modern look and it also supports for test as well as suit nesting. 
Plus it also shows you the before and after hooks. And the best thing is it shows you the code along with each test, which is great for debugging purposes. So we will be implementing this with our test framework. So once we are done with reporting, we'll integrate all of this with CI/CD tool. And for that, we will be using Jenkins. Now Jenkins is a popular open source continuous integration tool. So to put it simply, it helps you build, test and deploy your software projects. And Jenkins can also be easily extensible with hundreds of plugins that it supports. So it makes the overall tool quite powerful. So using Supertest, Mocha, Chai and Mocha Awesome reporting, we will create a test automation framework and integrate it with Jenkins. So hope you guys are excited as we'll begin our installation process starting next video. Well, if you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate if you can like this video and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already as that's how I know you guys are really enjoying the content. Alright guys, that's it for this video. I will see you in the next one.